everybody on YouTube, Superstar Day here, and this is actually an update video to a video that I made uh, almost three years ago, where I showed you how you can use OBS Classic uh, to record in-game footage uh, using your AMD graphics card. Now a lot has changed since then. OBS went from OBS Classic to now OBS Studio, which also runs on Linux and Mac. Mac. And next to that, uh, I looked on the, the forum that I linked to in my old video, and you cannot download uh, OBS Classic anymore uh, with the plugin built into it. Uh, somebody has deleted the files of Dropbox, uh, therefore downloading it is not no longer possible. Um, so I thought now would be a good time to then make an updated video because there is a different way to, to use your AMD graphics card and still be able to record in-game footage. It's, it's quite easy to do, so I'll, I'll show it in a couple of steps. And after I've shown that, I'll also show a little bit of in-game footage that I record uh, using AMD graphics card of my laptop, because my desktop does not have that. Um, but I'll, I'll show you that later. So f step one is to download OBS Studio. Um, as you can see here, you can go to uh, obsproject.com, uh, slash download. Um, you'll see that there is a Windows version, a Mac version, and a Linux version. They're all in the same version. And if you scroll down, you can also see there is a OBS Classic version. Um, but for this, we're not using that. We'll be just using the Windows variant of OBS Studio. So the thing you'll do here is download the installer. Um, it'll be around 100 megabytes or so. So it'll take you a little bit to, to download that. Uh, once it's done, you can just install OBS Studio as you would do normally. Uh, and if you have OBS Studio already installed, you can, of course, skip this step. It's, it's not relevant then. Um, and after this, we will move on to, to step two. So if you have installed OBS Studio, it would look a little bit like this. And this is also the black theme. You can see that I've got a couple of scenes here, so you can completely uh, ignore that. But it will look, look, look a little bit like this, except it's white. I'll also show you how to change the theme later if you would uh, like that too. To have this uh, nice black theme, it's a little bit uh, easier on the eyes. Um, and now we will move to step two. So this is step two. Make sure you have closed down uh, OBS Studio, otherwise this will not work. You will get errors and stuff. You do not want that. Uh, you have to go to um, this website here where you can download the AMD hardware encoder. It's a plugin from Xymar. This is his blog. Uh, you can see that he made a post here uh, where you can uh, download his plugin for OBS Studio. You can also see the requirements. You at least need a, a dual core, but he recommends a quad core. You need, of course, an AMD graphics card that supports VCE. You need at least 2 gigabytes of RAM and 4 gigabytes recommended. You must have Visual uh, Studio 2015 uh, installed, and you must have the latest AMD driver. So what you will do on this website is you can download the archive, but I will recommend to download the installer. It's only 2 megabytes. Uh, you can just then click on that, and then you have to wait a little bit. You have to say yes. And then accept, next, uh, next, and then click on yes, next again, install, and that's it, finish. Uh, and once you've done that, uh, the plugin is installed, and then uh, you can start up uh, OBS once more. So if you have OBS then start it up again, you can uh, click on settings where you could see that you can uh, change the theme to, to dark if you would like that. Uh, you can click on apply and then it will stay like that forever. Uh, you can then go to output and for streaming I re still recommend to go with x264 uh, because uh, the AMD VCE needs a lot of bitrate to, to look good and for streaming I can't really uh, recommend that because you need to stream at lower bit rates. Uh, so in order to keep the quality good, you need higher bit rates for the uh, VCE encoder. Uh, 
So this is what I use to to stream with. Uh, so for for this, we actually go to the recording tab, where you can see you can change from X two six four to the uh, AMD encoder here. You can uh, click on that, and and once you've clicked that, uh, you see the box down below uh, with the different quality options. I choose to go with uh, balanced here, otherwise I get problems. I also do a constant bit rate. Um, and then I have a 50,000 uh, bit rate to make sure that the quality is good enough. Uh, keyframe interval of 2 and um, that this should be uh, good enough to record with. Uh, next to that, you can also go to uh, video, and um, as you can see, my video options are uh, 1080p on both. But if you do that, I do recommend then also changing uh, your streaming to to rescale output 720p because some CPUs do not take 1080p that well. Uh, so make sure you. Uh, do that if you want to stream as well so and that's it and I'll show you a little bit of gameplay footage of the division so I will be back in a second so we are here in uh, the division like I said pretty good looking uh, game even if I do say so myself um, this is not really to show you any uh, kind of gameplay or whatever this is more like to show you the the quality you would get with a 50,000 bit rate uh, with the uh, MD VCE recording encoder um, so you can uh, decide for yourself whether this is something for you or not of course do keep in mind that I'm having a, a two computer setup here so I'm not actually on the same computer playing and then recording at the same time so uh, it will be a, di a little bit different uh, for you, and then it will be for me, I guess. Um, but this is uh, what it would look like to give you an idea. So, there you go. So, this was a video about how to use your MD graphics card in OBS Studio to capture in-game footage uh, hopefully this has helped you and hopefully this is a little bit more clear than the last video that I made um, hopefully everything will keep on working for the next couple of years I don't know hopefully anyway if you have any more problems then uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, and if you like this video and it helps you out then uh, please leave a like and, and also subscribe and I'll see you guys soon Peace out.